Let the lights stay on. Huh. My solar light does not want to stay on. What's wrong with you, you goddamn solar light? I guess I did not have it out in the solar. I'm going to go back to the old-fashioned uh, grid lighting. Goddamn solar lights. Ah! Hi, right, guys. Well, while I'm sitting around waiting for... While that little eco pussy is sitting around waiting for his latest rant to uh, load up. Oh, just tell you about my... How my day went today, since I know uh, this is what you're so fascinated to listen to. So it is a chilly, possibly frosty night here at Bugs in a Jar Farm here. It is Thursday night, May 25th, 2023. It is our grand opening tomorrow for the summer of 2023. Uh, Airbnb and hip camp. So anyway, I it was finally time for me to go get rid of this goddamn you know this this landfill this this New Delhi garbage mountain that has been piling up along the side of my house and in the front of the damn garage, embarrassing the hell out of me when you know guests come here. So I finally broke down to take this pile of garbage out of here. So I went to U-Haul uh, to rent a trailer to haul the garbage to the landfill. So I, you know, I'm supposed to be there at 10 o'clock. I get there right on time. So I go in there to, to goddamn U-Haul to pick up this, this trash trailer. And... There's this, like, one guy ahead of me standing there holding a big cardboard box. And we just kind of acknowledge each other. And I said, I said, dude, I, I said, are you just here to buy a cardboard box? And he, and he goes, man, that's all I want to do is buy a cardboard box. And I said, fine, just go ahead and, and get your box. Uh, and I, I figured this transaction was going to take about 90 seconds for some motherfucker to buy a goddamn cardboard box at U-Haul. He, he wasn't renting a truck, a trailer, uh, the poor schmuck. He had to ship some bullshit on eBay and needed... A cardboard box to do it. So he goes to U-Haul to get a cardboard box. So he gets in line. He, he walks up to there. There's one guy. Well, not in line. It, you know, it's just me and him. So he goes up in front of me <clears throat> to buy a cardboard box before I got involved with all of my shit. <clears throat> and the guy says. So, uh, you want to buy, a, you're just here to buy a box? And the dude goes, that's all I want to do, is I want to buy a cardboard box. So, uh, the guy behind the counter goes, can you read me whatever the, that skew number is or whatever off of the box? So the guy reads it to him. So the guy behind the counter at YouTube puts it in the computer, and the computer shows that there are no cardboard boxes with that SKU number in Ethica, New York. There's a whole fucking stack of them. The guy is holding one, wanting to buy one, and the computer says... There are no cardboard boxes matching that SKU number available in Ithaca, New York. So he could not process the sale. The guy is holding a motherfucking cardboard box in front of him. And the little AI bot in the computer who knows more than the humans says, <coughs> you know, 
basically transaction not available because there are no cardboard boxes to buy in Ithaca, New York. And here goes the fucking standoff. Just un fucking believable. I, I, I wish to hell I, I, I had had my camera. What erupted in, in that fucking U-Haul? Uh, a motherfucker trying to buy a fucking cardboard box so the guy cannot override the computer. The computer will not let the fucker sell the, this man his cardboard box. Won't do it because there are no cardboard boxes in uh, Ithaca, New York. So the computer is jammed. The guy is trying to call the national office to get him to reset the inventory. He's calling all over uh, the fucking planet to get somebody who had the power, you know, to punch some fucking button to let them know that there's, a, that there's a, a motherfucking cardboard box for sale in Ithaca, New York. This goes on and fucking on. I, I, I have so goddamn much to do today. And finally, I said, fuck it. I, I said, I will buy... Uh, the goddamn cardboard box. Uh, I, I said, just put it on my fucking trailer rental. Act like I'm buying the fucking cardboard box. And uh, so I, I, I said, how much is the goddamn thing? H how much do you think the price of a cardboard box at U-Haul is? What do you think? A, a fucking cardboard box. All right, I, I was figuring, like, I, I, I said, you know, that's probably a fucking $5 box. I, I just told the dude, like, like, dude, take your fucking box. I need to move on with my goddamn life. Get my fucking trailer. I will buy your fucking box. You know, thinking it's $5. And, and, uh, and oh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I forgot part of the story. So, you know, the guy with the, the computer is apologizing profusely. He says, I can't, he goes, I tell you what, he goes, if you got cash, if you, if you have cash, just give me the cash to buy the fucking box. And once I get this, uh, this transaction approved, and convince them that there's some fucking boxes to sell you, I will just put your fucking cash in. And, and so the guy, you know, was about 30, and, and, and he's looking at him. When, when the guy at U-Haul was suggesting cash money, the guy was like, cash? Uh, like, why should I be carrying cash? Just carrying cash around. Uh, that he was going to put a fucking box uh, uh, on his credit card. And that is when I, I said, fuck it. I said, I've got 300 fucking dollars in cash in, in my fucking pocket. I, I, said, I, I, said, I said, fuck, I, I don't have all fucking day. I, I said, I'm not blaming anybody in this room for this bullshit. I got to get ahead with my fucking day. I'll buy your fucking box thinking it was five fucking dollars just, just so I could get out of that fucking place with my fucking trailer and load up my fucking garbage. And this motherfucker couldn't buy his goddamn box. What do you think the price of that motherfucking box was? If your answer is $17. $17. For one fucking cardboard box at, at U-Haul gave herself a gold star and the guy was going uh, you know right across the street at Office Depot they had the same fucking box $30 30 fucking dollars for a cardboard fucking box and, and I said well dude I, I said I'm not paying I, I'm not buying you a 17 
fucking dollar box, but because you don't have a fucking twenty dollar bill uh, in, in 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 your pocket. And he's going, man, he goes, I'm just charging this to my company. He goes, I'm not going to pay those $17. I'm, I'm not going to put $17 for a cardboard box on my credit card. And I said, you can't put it on your fucking credit card anyway, because there are no fucking cardboard boxes in Ithaca, New York. I, uh, you know, I was sitting on the fucking stack of cardboard boxes. You know, I, 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 we're, we're there for 20 fucking minutes, finally some motherfucker from Peoria or whatever it goes in there and hits some goddamn button that the motherfucker in Ithaca, New York uh, could not get. So uh, the, the guy is getting his box. So I'm getting my trailer. My trailer checkout took about 30 seconds. The motherfucker with the box hadn't even walked out of the store yet, and so my rental was $26. And I'm laughing, and, and I'm telling the dude with the box, I, 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 I said, look at me. I, I, I said, I got a full fucking trailer. I got a big metal trailer. It's got rubber tires and lights and all kinds of shit on it. I paid $9 more for a fucking trailer than you paid for a fucking box, you clueless fucking moron. So, I get the fucking trailer, come back, start loading all of this shit, you know, which has been, which has been piling up uh, along the side of the house. So, anyway, part of the fucking garbage was this board. Just a fucking board. A, I don't know, a 2 by 4 a 2 by 6 which was leaning up against the house and the top of the board was going was like up against one of the you know up under the eaves where one of the roof rafters from the garage was coming down so you're finally leaning up against there and the top of the board was uh, in, into the rafters and I'm just looking at the board so you got to understand up here at the at this tiny house up top in Piney Woods, I, I've been wanting to put a fucking uh, rainwater collection system up there. Ever, ever since I've, I've gotten back uh, to New York, you know, it, it would take about, it takes about 20 fucking minutes to make one of the, and, and I'm going to make a really simple one up there. I'm not doing it for drinking water. All, all I want is, is a little bit, you know, some fucking water to come down into a barrel where people can, uh, it's not for drinking, it's just to use basically in the outhouse to help flush the, uh, the urinal and keep it from stinking up there is the main reason and to have, you know, and have the water to irrigate the flowers around the tiny house and shit. But I haven't been able to do it because this mother bird is up there in the fucking eaves of the tiny house. They're called Phoebes. Uh, I think there's some kind of flycatcher. So anyway, I have been waiting for weeks for this goddamn mother bird uh, you know, lay her eggs, to hatch her eggs, to raise her babies. N now that the fucking uh, hip camp is open tomorrow, I have no rainwater collection system because I'm waiting for this fucking bird. Uh, I don't want to bother the bird. I, I, every fucking year, I, I'm putting some project on hold for weeks, waiting for some fucking mother bird to raise her baby birds, uh, you know, before I can bumble along. So anyway, I'm out here, you know, while that mother bird is out there, I'm out here and, and cleaning up this shit along the side of the house. And so you know where the fucking story is going. So I grab the board and pull it away from the house. And you know exactly what happens. The fucking bird nest, you know, where, where the mother bird, she built her nest 
at one of these Phoebes had, had built her fucking nest on top of the goddamn board. And uh, I, I wish that she had, I, I had no, I hadn't been back, you know what I'm saying, I hadn't any reason to go back there. And, and the, I didn't see any fucking mother bird. So I pull the fucking board. Here comes the nest with three of these little, uh, you, you know, little naked baby birds just barely beginning, you know, beginning to get their feathers fucking nest goes in ten goddamn pieces. They're these fucking little uh, naked baby birds uh, down by my feet. I just picked them up and chunked them in the fucking creek. You know, fucking humans. Uh, trying to clean up goddamn fucking garbage piling up around here, hauling this shit off to the fucking landfill uh, so I don't have to embarrass myself in front of my fucking Airbnb guests. I've wiped out an entire family of songbirds. Uh, you know, what, what the fuck was I supposed to do with them? And, and, of course, the mother bird is all flying around and freaking out and shit. Uh, fuck. And, uh, load up that motherfucking U-Haul trailer. Sancho and I, we head off to the goddamn thing. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's such fucking, it's, it's all such fucking bullshit. And so I had it all divided up. I, I, I had my, my metal, my recycling, my glass recycling, my plastic recycling, where I would very carefully, you know, compartmentalized uh, the goddamn trailer, get to the fucking thing, start talking to the woman about the recycling, and uh, the, the metal was easy. Go in there, unload the fucking metal, and, and then I'm saying, well, what about the glass and the plastic? And, and she uh, she goes, well, what kind of glass? And I said, it's a bunch of old windows. And she goes, we don't fucking recycle windows here. You clueless fucking warrant. Do you have any bottles? And, and I said, no. I've got about 500 pounds of glass windows. And she says, sorry, those are garbage. Throw them in the fucking garbage. 500 pounds of windows going in the fucking garbage. And, and, and I said, well, I've got all of this plastic that uh, I, I, I said, are you taking plastic? I had all, all kinds of this plastic shit. And, and uh, she goes, well, she goes, you can drop off your plastic here. She goes, but you're going to pay the same. Uh, you're going to pay the same to, uh, to, to dump your plastic here as you are to dump the rest of the garbage. So she goes, just throw it in the garbage, which is exactly what I fucking did. So I went in there. I unloaded the fucking metal. Took all of that glass, all of that fucking plastic, and, and, and just threw them in the fucking landfill. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway, that was my day. and uh, But the big grand opening tomorrow, and we will see what kind of disasters unfold this weekend. But right now it's fucking freezing. I got to turn this goddamn gas sucking heater back on. I, I was actually supposed to have my first guest tonight uh, come here. You know, he was staying at the damn tiny house up on the hill where there's no fucking heat in it. it, it, it it's cold as a fucking well digger's ass. Uh, on May 25th, so uh, 
uh, I finally talked to the guy, right, when, he, you know, I, I, I said, dude, I said, it's fucking freezing down there. I, I said, you realize there's no goddamn heat in that tiny house that you're paying $100 for. And uh, he goes, yeah, it is kind of cold. He just lives right here in Ithaca. And I said, tell you what, I said, just, just take a fucking rain check, brother. Come back when it finally warms up. But I hear it's going to be 90 degrees in a week. So uh, hopefully this is our last frost on the pumpkin. It's like we head into a fucking drought. The, the goddamn pond is already dry. You should see the, the fucking creek. It's May 25th. And you can almost jump across the creek. The goddamn pond is already falling, starting to look like shit. Uh, no rain in the forecast. Yes, as far as they can see, no fucking rain in the forecast, 90 fucking degrees next week after freezing my fucking ass tonight. Ugh, fuck. Anyway, I got to finish my drink. Call it a night. Get out there and enjoy that frost on your pumpkin while you still can before the summer of 2023 heat stroke arrives in a few days. Yes, little dog. Let me say, Pop, I'm ready for some warm weather. I'm tired of freezing my fucking ass running a goddamn heater on May 25th. Bye, guys. Ugh.